The New York Post said that Donald Trump's shooter was a Chinese man in their very first report. What made them say that? Yeah, we got to talk about this because this is probably one of the worst things that I have seen come out of the New York Post in a long time. Literally, Andrew, when they identified the shooter, the gunman, they said he was Chinese initially with literally no information, no evidence. An hour later, they changed it to say that he's white again, but they never issue an apology or redaction. Yeah, so we got to talk about this, guys. What are the reasons? What do people think about this? Because uh, obviously, we think it's bad that Donald Trump was shot at. I'm glad he didn't die. I think the world would have ended up going into chaos, and honestly, a lot of bad things would have happened. So it's definitely not good that this guy tried to kill Donald Trump, but the fact that for the first hour, the New York Post, Joe Marino and Chris Nessie reported that it was a Chinese man who did it was pretty weird. So we got to talk about it. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys, especially if you guys are interested by this. Joe Marino and Chris Nessie should be fired. Yeah. They Dude. should be fired for literally just, I think they just saw maybe his photo with glasses or something. No, I don't know. No, what. I don't even think they had a photo of the shooter at first. The first hour, they just said it was a Chinese man. I don't think they had any reason to believe it was a Chinese guy. Think about it. So it was. And then Gordon Chang picks it up. And then some other Twitters, after he picks it up, they think that a Chinese guy wrote it because Gordon Chang has a Chinese last name because his dad's Chinese. Then they ran with it again on some other platforms. Right. Now, obviously, since then, it is clear that it is not a Chinese man. The dude is white. He's from, I believe, Pennsylvania. And obviously, all these articles and everything's going to be coming out to examine this guy uh, uh, that tried to do it. But it is weird that New York Post... Said it was a Chinese. Why? Like, anyways, guys, we got to get into a bunch of reasons um, why we think they did. But I'll just tell you this. Chris Nessie, his last New York Post article was about an owl pigeon with herpes in New York City. So maybe he should go back to writing those type of articles. Well, point number one, Andrew, the news isn't even trustworthy anymore. I know that the New York Post always had a very shaky tabloid, almost like National Enquirer reputation. But if you're going to comment on an assassination attempt on a former president and more than likely the guy who's going to become the president, and then you try to say that the shooter's Chinese, knowing that there's a lot of geopolitical tensions right now on like a macro adversarial rival scale, you're basically playing with something you're just trying to write a script in your mind. You're yeah. not a journalist at all. Yeah, and I mean, I do want to say that the New York Post has gotten certain details early on that ha they have been right about things, but this one was very wrong, and I feel like that they could have just left this out if they didn't know what type of person the shooter was. Like, let's say you had no details about it. You probably just could have left it out and not said Chinese man because Chinese man is obviously very triggering at this time, especially in America when everybody's against China and stuff like that. So, because, so I, when I first heard about it and I was like thinking about it for like an hour, I was like, yo, that's kind of crazy. I was like, I almost didn't believe it. Right, because it's not believable. <laughs> Point number two, they were super wrong and they simply didn't apologize for it. They literally just changed Chinese male to white male. Yeah, and, and they could have had oftentimes in articles that need revision. I usually see something at the bottom that says like, hey, the previous version of this article mentioned this and this, but we've since revised it. You know, they don't even have that footnote at all. They just revised it there is a timestamp that says they revised it more than an hour later but for an entire hour when the whole world is thinking about it the whole world was in shock kind of you know hearing that donald trump almost got killed everybody thought he was chinese that's weird yeah well i mean at least the people who follow the new york post right, right? and obviously Chinese other other news outlets did not report that right point number three they think that all Asians are Chinese, which is a 1990s style stereotype. Because basically there was this comment section being like, how would they know he was Chinese even if he was Asian looking? Right. So literally they're using Chinese for the word Asian. So it actually goes to show you that these guys are not only like, well, they just made that up. Essentially it's racist, right? And then on top of that, how would you have known he was Chinese? So you're telling me that you thought that there was some source said that the initial shooter was Asian. Someone said that right, it was Asian. I guess you can t theoretically, if someone had saw him and he was Asian, even though he wasn't, you could tell he was some type of Asian Oriental look. Right, right. right to somebody a said somebody said that he looked kind of Asian, and then Asian turned into Chinese in the article. 
That's crazy. Like, they didn't even say Asian. They could have even said Asian descent. Oh, sorry, he wasn't actually Asian, you know. And uh, But I was like, dude, how do you know, even know he's Chinese? Right, right. Like, what Like what backup of detail did you have about that? Yeah. And then, maybe the guy's like, hey, you know, he had glasses. His glasses look kind of nerdy. That's what I thought. Yeah, you know? nerdy Asian uh, Chinese. Uh, point number four, it could have been a deadly mistake and encouraged a backlash of Asian violence. Now, it didn't happen Maybe because the New York Post is known for being sensational, but literally, that's how much these details matter. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, they were able to revise it in an hour, and obviously, reports came out very quickly of who this actual guy was. But let's just say they happened to run with this Chinese man thing for like a few more hours. And everybody catches wind of it because New York Post is the only uh, news outlet that has mentioned details about the the identity, you know. And that if those are the only details out, yeah, that would that, it felt weird to be honest. As a Chinese American, I was like, oh my god, is it a Chinese national? Is it a Chinese American? And I was running through. We were having this conversation. All these thoughts were running through our heads, like, oh, how bad would it be if it was actually a, a person from China, or what if it was a Chinese American? How does it affect our lives? I was like, oh shoot, this is crazy, right? Point number five, Andrew. Everybody is twisting it, the facts to try to appeal to their own side, right? Like, obviously, people on the far right, they wanted to be some, like, blue-haired person. People on the left, they're really emphasizing the fact that the shooter was a registered Republican, but he did give $15 to a liberal organization in 2020. So everybody is going to leave out facts, even though they're going to be partially factual, that benefits their tribe's perspective on the issue. Yeah, and for some reason it was beneficial to put Chinese man in the beginning for the first out. And hey, this, the guy was whipping it up, Chris Marino. Yeah, I'm telling you, I came up with a crazy twist for this one. Oh, what, M. Night Shyamalan couldn't write this script. Dude, and I know, guys, listen, you're probably like, hey, Andrew, the article was only up for an hour. It was like the first article that said anything about the shooter. That's why it's a big deal. Right, well, who gave them that piece of info? Man, in Pennsylvania, I don't like know, it was like man. less than one percent population. Well, someone was like, I don't know. I think the shooter. I saw him. They looked. I uh, uh, look. Look like a Chinese hey, what if, student. What if he said he looked? Uh, you know, maybe uh, part Mandarin, part Cantonese. I couldn't tell from the feature set. I mean, yeah, parents may have. Uh, I don't know. Definitely not Taiwanese, though. Definitely Chinese. So, so point number six. Sinophobia is in full effect right now. This comment says sinophobia is going to be a thing no matter who gets elected. That's clearly evident. Someone saying, hey, remember, guys, repost it right away. Double check is something you never, ever do when it comes to anything related to China. Mm. Yeah. I mean, people are talking about the $500 million anti-Chinese propaganda budget. That is a real thing. Like I said, I'm not saying they're not, they're probably doing it to America on the Chinese side too, but that is clear in America that they are doing it right now. Right, right. They're, this, just look at this thing that just happened. Point number seven, how come it seems like some people seem like they want to start World War Three? Yeah, I don't know. I mean... It's just people are talking about Project 2025. Yeah, I, I mean, I suppose here. from a super right-wing side i guess would it be better if it was a chinese it would benefit that side's argument right to be anti-china like if you're very anti-china and the shooter you hear that the shooter is chinese then you would want to lean into that, that info, reconfirms right? what you already believe right that china is evil and trying to do bad things yeah, yeah we just thought that they were nerds copycatting the jordans in the chanel bags but i told you it's more devious than that Point number eight. Nope, never mind. They're still nerds. They're, they're, the shooter was a white right, guy. Back, back to just the, the, the nerdy, uncool, untrustworthy plan. But yeah, they're, they're, I guess they didn't, weren't capable of the other stuff I thought they were. Uh, point number eight, Andrew. Uh, this guy said, Chinese are not focused on the sinophobia in America. They are busy developing their own infrastructure, trying to feed all their people, develop their space program, do all these other things that China internally is working on. So this guy's saying why it wouldn't be a Chinese shooter. Right, but he's also saying why, like, even though Chinese know there's so much sinophobia going on in America, they're just focused on the race they're running, which I actually do more so agree with, man, Andrew, but you know who it does affect? People like us, mm. Chinese Americans, where we're impacted or Chinese living in America that are becoming naturalized citizens. Then we are basically like the one group that's like, uh, the U.S. is like trying to amp itself up by telling like demon stories about over there, but it's not like China's doing anything to counter those stories either. 
So yeah, it puts us in a bad situation, to be honest. Point number nine, are we emasculated or not? This guy said, so think about it. Are Asian men or Chinese men emasculated or not? Because this would be a very like thing that you would not think that like a bunch of like nerds that got to bring down, a like let's say for example, some people think that Chinese are untrustworthy, untrustworthy nerds that are gonna bring down America, but in a roundabout nerd way, this would be more direct. Mm -hmm. So he's saying it doesn't go along with people's stereotype of Chinese men. Yeah, 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 because like Chinese men are considered these weak nerds who like can't please our women, but then also we're part of this big evil group that's going to hostily take over the world. Right, essentially the Nemoidians, <laughs> right? We're yeah. not the Sith Lords that actually the quote, quote unquote, like the white people or whatever the, the Jedis in their own mind fear, right? We're the Nemoidians that are more doing it out of greed to partner with the Sith Lords to go against the Jedis and the, right, right. whatever. Um, that's like literally how I'd I see. Obviously, not everybody in America feels that way about Chinese people, but a sizable amount of the older population. Point number 10. People have been waiting on the downfall of China, Andrew, for over 20 years now. Like, I'm just oh, saying. I would, I would, you could argue 30 years that right, people right, have been right. talking about the, the collapse of China. And so there is a lot of people who want to see or have been waiting for China to fail. I mean, part of it, I, I think we can make a whole nother video about this on why people always predict China's collapse. And I think we could go in depth about what is collapsing about China, but what is also doing fine about China too, right? There's probably both sides of the coin, but um, at the end of the day, there's just a lot of people who- Well, they get a lot of hits on the internet. Yeah, they either get a lot of views or they make a whole career about predicting and talking about why China's gonna fail. Right, right, right. And it's led to such like misinformation, obviously, like even the Trump shooter being Chinese. It's seriously crazy that it got to this point. By the way, I'm not saying China doesn't have problems. They got a property bubble, lack of investor confidence, demographic challenges, some birth rates, urban rural splits. You know, nobody yeah. wants to live in the countryside. They got, issues. They got Evergrande, the Jiangxi banks, you know, sort of failing. But that's also like saying any big place has a ton of problems, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think there's things failing and building and, and prospering all at the same time. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, one thing that people don't understand, it's like China is kind of like a country full of like Asians uh, honor school students that are like all overachievers. So even if that honor school class like goes through like a lot of issues or whatever, that they got to prep for this test or they ran out of resources or whatever, it's like kind of the resilience of those like second gen Asi Asian honor students will push them through. Right, right. No, right. honestly, that's like just a analytical breakdown of it. I mean, ultimately... What do you think, Andrew? Like, I, it took him an hour. There's no apology. Is this a sign of all these things? Or like, I mean, we had a hard time believing it when someone brought it up to us, right? But we yeah. didn't think about it. Yeah, I think initially, because it was so early on, I think if you have a brain and you weren't trying to be, and you were trying to pro and you process, you know, information uh, like a mature adult, then you were like, whoa, that's kind of crazy, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm just going to chill and wait until more details come out because this is just weird. It's right. so weird that immediately you have a hyper specific detail about the shooter that they're Chinese, not just a, of Asian descent. I mean, if they described the shooter as of Asian descent, that would have sounded more realistic. But the fact that they had the detail that they was Chinese was so specific, it was weird to me. So, I, I, you know, we were talking about it, we were like, whoa, this is kind of crazy. I don't know right. how to feel, but also I was just like, I don't know, I just gotta wait and see, you know? So I hope that's how most people processed it. But initially, since so many people were picking up on this article and like, obviously it got probably got picked up in the vortex of the internet and right, Twitter right, right, and all that right. stuff. This is the misinformation of social media. Yeah, right? the vortex of misinformation and how quickly things move. Obviously now, I would assume everybody now knows the shooter was obviously not Chinese and was this right. person instead. But for like maybe half a day, a whole day, people were like ready to, I don't know, like use it as fuel against China. And and maybe it even touched some people emotionally already and the damage is already done. That's what I don't like about misinformation on the internet is because that initial hour, you're like, ah, you read that he's Chinese and you're like, ah, oh, the Chinese, the Chinese are trying to shoot Donald Trump. The Chinese are trying to assassinate our, our presidential candidates, ah, blah, 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 blah. And then it's like, you got riled up already. And then even though three hours later, you find out it wasn't a Chinese guy, you're still 
You're still mad at Chinese people. Why are journalists trying to be like script writers now? They're literally trying to write the most fire script, but they literally have zero journalistic integrity to inform the public yeah. and be responsible for the actions that you stimulate the public to, that it potentially could lead to in somebody's twisted mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I can see that this instance already is a little bit, I guess some people are viewing it as a warning sign of what is to come when they believe Donald Trump becomes president. Like, is there going to be more anti-China, anti-China stuff? Like this little slip up? This was a slip up? I don't know. But I would just say, you know, thankfully, I don't think really anybody fully reacted on an Asian person based right. off this article. Uh, but that... It was it was definitely a weird hour. That was a weird couple hours. And just like we said, man, on social media, I mean, just listen, guys. There's a trillion videos you could watch about it. But you know, the shooter he was in a Black Rock ad when he was in high school. Is it deep state, permanent state, administrative state? How come the Secret Security like dropped the ball on it? Right? How come the Secret Service didn't have the perimeter set? All these different things. You know, you don't come to this channel for those uh, types of analysis. There's a trillion of those videos out there. Let us know what you think of the New York Post misidentifying the Trump shooter as Chinese initially, never redacted, never issued an apology. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.